Alright, hey guys, here we are back for another tutorial setting up for hole number two. And now I think, you know, for the most part, quarterback is going to be the way to go on this one. So that's how you're going to see me play it. Um, I'm going to just switch balls for you guys just so you guys have a good um, alternate approach. Uh, if you guys watched my other video, I think I used a navigator. And I'm still doing that when I don't have... Um, you know, good win five balls. Uh, the problem is if you try to go up to a kingmaker or anything more, um, you start to put min club too far and you'd have to kind of predict the land, the, the land stop. So, um, you know, where you land. So what I've been doing is using navigators um, and... Additionally to the navigators, um, you know, on a few instances, Bandera ball, or in this case here, I'm going to go Oceana ball. And going to do pretty much the same shot either way. Like, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, it's unfortunate that I can't get a live opponent here, so... Those be the breaks sometimes, I guess. It just seems awkward that right in the middle of the day, there's nobody, literally nobody here to accept this game. So here we are waiting here for a replay way too long. And what I'm going to try to do is hit this fairway shot. I hate that every new basket you always have to reselect the ball so let's see what I can do here what I've been doing is kind of something to the effect of landing maybe right around here and for me I've been playing about 1.6 ish per ring so I'm kind of looking at maybe just a hair more than three rings here for my ring adjustment and I'm just going to let the wind effect bring the ball over towards the hole as opposed to uh, you know playing around with the guide and here it's coming at the hole it looks like it's just shop stopping short so maybe just a hair too much spin but you can see that with that landing zone and with the side spin that I had on it um, very good chance for it to shoot out towards the hole um, it's just going to be kind of a game of inches and also, you know, the hills that you hit along the way. You can see the very first bounce is very inconsistent. Same with the second, third. There's really no avoiding it, unfortunately. But that's what I'm going to recommend that you guys do for kind of your average case or, you know, just try to, uh, you know, handle things with high wind resistance and you know just a quarterback uh, you could potentially do a rocket but there's really no use for it what i'd rather see is you know the ball rolling out hopefully um, just staying on course there and shooting up towards the hole kind of like my ball um, it'll kind of you know get you as consistent as possible what you'll see is some people um, you know, they're either overplay the the wind or, you know, hit it up on that side hill, that left hill. And it can be very inconsistent coming off that left hill, off the left of that fairway, though. So that's why you see me setting up where I am. It's a little bit more flat, a little bit more consistent around the circle, at least, to where if you did great ball, you know, it's not going to push it too much offline. <clears throat> So here we are. Let's take a look at what we get for a shootout. Oh, this hole. That's very similar to the win for the tournament. Looks like it might just be angled just slightly. So what I'm going to try to do is use a lot of curl. Well, uh, at least a decent amount of curl since it's kind of against the wind. 
kind of like this, but I won't probably go that much because I'll have more side spin than my opponent does here. So I'll just try to split the difference here a little bit. So that looks like about 10, 12 yards. Yep, 12 something. So here is my sniper. That's one of the problems is I don't really have enough power this way. And ideally, you want to land it up a little bit more here. I'm going to have to go this way. I really don't see kind of a way to hit that sniper shot, unfortunately. It is kind of my preferred way to go here. But what you'll see me do is very similar. Just going to kind of go right off that mound. Just curl it over very hard. Try to uh, get the ball coming, you know, at least over more than my uh, opponent. So here you can see that it just kind of creeps right around 10. Um, quite a bit. It's, a, it's very challenging when, when you get winds like that because you can see how much it just kind of resists coming back towards the hole um, no matter which approach. So you really need to play that hole very dynamically whether, you know, because sometimes you need no curl and you can see that both of us max curled. So it really just varies from time to time. There's such a range that you need to be able to adjust for that hole. But anyway, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, like that technique for two and, you know, have two different balls there to look at. So, um, you know, good luck with that second hole, guys. Hopefully you guys get the ace uh, and be on the lookout for hole three coming up.